Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Anakin and I design knitting patterns. I teach knitting workshops uh, in person and online and I sell pretty yarn. Um, this video was a request from my Love of Lace Knitting group. Uh, until middle of September we are running a, a shawl knit along, a summer shawl knit along in the Love of Lace Knitting group. You can also post on Instagram. I will link a video below that explains how the knit along works. So you may be watching this in the Love and Lace Knitting Facebook group. You may be watching this on YouTube because I'm posting it in both places. So welcome wherever you are watching this. If you're watching it on YouTube and you're new to my channel or you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're watching it in the Love of Lace Knitting group, then please uh, give this video a like, I think it is. And wherever you're watching it please uh, comment and let me know what you think about what I'm going to talk about today um, and if you're watching it on YouTube go and check out my Love of Lace Knitting Facebook group if you're into lace knitting or you want to get into lace knitting and if you're watching it on the Love of Lace Knitting group and you don't know that I have a YouTube channel go and check out my YouTube channel I also have a long list of tutorials on my website which are worth checking out all the links can be found below this video if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, go to yarnaddict.co.uk and you'll find all the links. So a couple of weeks ago, I put up a question in my Facebook group asking what people's most common questions or most urgent questions were about lace knitting, um, shawl knitting in particular. And several people said, what happens if I change the yarn weight? So if it's written for a four ply and I choose to use DK, if it's written for DK and I want to use a lace weight, what will happen to the size? How do I and how do I know what needle size to use and that kind of thing? So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, I have knitted three swatches in three different yarn weights on three different needle sizes. And then I show you what they look like before I block them. I block them and then I show you the different it's difference in size once I block them. One thing I don't know if I talk about is choosing needle size. When it comes to lace knitting, um, especially shawls, because exact size isn't that important as long as it's a size you're happy with, obviously. Um, but it is important to get a fabric that you like the look of. So with lace knitting, I recommend that you try different needle sizes and you settle on one that gives you the fabric that you like. But do bear in mind that if you are using a different tension of what the pattern states, then you may use more or less yarn and you may um, end up with a different size. And obviously, if you're changing the yarn weight, then you will end up with a different size and you may need more or less yarn. Um, and for some shawls, that doesn't matter because some shawls you can adjust the size fairly easily. And I have a tutorial on that, so I will link that below this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, a like, subscribe if you're on YouTube. Um, leave me a comment where you're watching this and let me know if you normally knit um, things in the yarn weight that's suggested or whether you like to uh, change things up a bit. I hope you enjoyed this video. These are the swatches I knitted. So I tried to use yarn that was as similar as possible. So for this uh, first swatch, I used DK yarn. I used Manos or Uruguay Silk Blend, uh, which is a DK yarn. It is, I think it is 70% merino and 30% silk. And then for the four ply swatch, I used Manos or Uruguay Fino, which is the same blend as the Silk Blend. It's just a four ply yarn. Um, it's a thin four ply yarn though, it's, it has about 450 meters per 100 grams, so it's quite a thin four ply yarn. And then for the lace weight version, I used Manos or Uruguay Marina. It is 100% Marina yarn, but it has got the um, single ply construction that these two yarns have as well. So these are all kind of single ply constructions. I did a very, very simple triangle shape using a... Um, horseshoe lace uh, pattern. Um, I did, I think I did about 30 rows, uh, same, exactly the same chart for each of them. So this is the difference before I block them. So you can see obviously the DK is bigger. The DK I knitted on five millimeter needles. So normally for normal stocking stitch, I would knit DK on four millimeter needles. I knitted that on five. 
the four ply for normal stocking stitch i would probably knit it on between three to 3.5 millimeter needles depending on the tension i wanted and i knitted that on four millimeter needles and the lace weight i would probably knit on about three millimeter needles in stocking stitch and i knitted that on 3.5 millimeter needles so the lace was 3.5 millimeter needles four ply which is the sim same as fingering weight and um, similar thickness to sock yarns. Uh, that was four millimeter needles and the DK was five millimeter needles. So I'm now going to go and soak these for a few minutes and then I'm going to block them and leave them to dry and then we'll see what the final difference is once they've been blocked. So it's a few hours after my last little video clip and my swatches have now dried. Apologies if the lighting is uh, not as good. Filming this in early evening so the lighting levels are not quite as good but you can still see what I'm doing. So this is the swatch that I knitted in DK yarn. Now remember I said I did exactly the same number of rows, same number of stitches, exactly the same stitch pattern for each swatch. So this is the one that I knitted in the DK yarn and then next up is the one I knitted in the four ply yarn and this is exactly the same yarn as the DK yarn it's just thinner so that's the difference in size and then let's let's look at the lace weight version this is Manos del Uruguay Marina which is 100% uh, merino uh, I'm not sure if it's super wash or not because I can't remember the other two were 70% merino and 30% silk. So, this is the difference. Now, there is less difference between the lace weight and the four ply. There's more difference between the four ply and the DK. Um, but my experience is that knitting things in lace weight yarn compared to four ply isn't always that much smaller. Not as much of a difference as you would think. The lace weight swatch is not much smaller than the four ply swatch. The difference between the four ply and the DK swatch will be smaller as well, but I'm not surprised about the lace weight swatch. The other thing to bear in mind is that if you're using a needle size that's much bigger in relation to the thickness of the yarn than what you would normally use, the lace will open up more and the fabric will be loose as it will open up more. Um, and there may be that the, diff the needle size I use on the lace weight is bigger in relation to what I should normally use if I was just knitting stocking stitch with that yarn um, compared to the other two. I'm giving you the information you'll have to do with it what you want. But all I'm saying is that sometimes changing the yarn thickness and the needle size doesn't make as much difference as you think. Um, when it comes to choosing needle size, um, obviously you need to be guided by the pattern. Uh, I think being guided by the pattern and the yarn thickness used in the pattern is more important than what needle size you would normally use for that thickness yarn because some patterns want to be fairly open, some may be l less open, a bit more dense. Um, this one, for example, a lace weight one, is quite open. It's quite lacy and I like lace weight yarns to be quite open, lacy and airy. Where it's difficult to get that same open lacy area effect with a DK yarn, even if you're using a bigger needle size. 
So when I choose needle size, I kind of now know roughly what kind of look I like. So if I'm using a certain thickness yarn, I tend to know what needle size I would probably prefer. But when I first started designing lace, I would, um, each time I came up with a new design idea for a lace shawl, I would knit it a swatch on the needle size I thought would be best. And then I would quite often knit a swatch on the needle size bigger and a needle size smaller and then choose the fabric that I like best. These days I do less of that because I've designed so many <laughs> lace shawls. I've designed and knitted, I guess, hundreds of lace shawls by now um, that I kind of know roughly what needle size tends to work with certain yarns and certain uh, fibre combinations. Um, that I do less experimenting with different needle sizes. But if you see a pattern you like, but you don't want to knit it in the yarn thickness that the pattern suggests, either because it's knitted in a very fine yarn, which you don't like, or it's knitted in a very thick yarn, which you don't like, or you have a lot of a certain type of yarn in your stash, or you have a specific skein of yarn you want to use, then what I would suggest is to choose the needle size that you think would go well with that yarn. So if you've knitted um, shawls in four ply or fingering red yarn before and they tend to be knitted on four millimeter needles or five millimeter needles and you like the look of that, then try that. But don't be afraid to rip out if you're not happy with it. Uh, I think that's one very important thing about knitting. If you don't like the result, then you um, should be willing to change it uh, and rip it out and re-knit it. So this is the results of my slightly unscientific experiment um do with it what you will but i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video and you're watching it on youtube please give the video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already and leave me a comment and if you're watching in the love of lace knitting facebook group please give the video a like and leave me a comment and please if you're watching on youtube and you're interested in lace knitting and you're not already a member of my love of lace knitting facebook group I'll pop the link below this video and if you're watching on in the Facebook group and you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, go and check it out and subscribe because I upload videos every single week. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.